Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally getting round to trying out this Blossom Gel um, product that kind of I had no idea about, but apparently it's been used a lot in the nail art world and I've had requests from two of my Jelly Babes to buy this product and try it out. So that is what this video is about today. So I've gone ahead and applied the um, clear gel bloom gel whatever it is i haven't cured and then i have got some like pearlized gel polish and basically you can draw whatever you want i haven't got any freehand skills so let's keep it simple <laughs> and then basically what happens is it kind of spreads out on the nail to me i don't think i cottoned on to this being a, like a different product because i did try product similar to this where it was a coloured thing and it spread out and you haloed um so that's probably why I didn't clock it as a new thing but there you go so basically you just leave it to spread and as soon as you're happy with how it looks you pop that underneath your lamp I popped it underneath my led lamp for one minute but it's funky it just sort of spreads out and swirls and all the rest of it I think a lot of people do like um rose nails with this now with this one i actually wanted to do like a flower nail but it kind of had a different idea as you'll see at the end because it kind of lost its flowerness even though i applied it that way but I actually i really did like the end result anyway it was quite funky it's a bit um almost like alligator style snake skin splodge look you know because that's what you want on your nails obviously <laughs> uh, so this was the color that i just put over the black now i'm using this one as a, as a base so this is cured the gel polish now i'm putting on the bloom gel clear gel which again you don't cure until you've done your design um i have seen these are like you can get these in colours so the colour spreads so you don't just have it clear but um I just thought well I can add whatever colour I want with a clear top coat obviously if it's a set colour that that's it that's all it's gonna can spread into kind of thing so I will leave details of where I got this on uh in, sorry in the description box below I just got it from off eBay I can't remember the price but anyway I'll leave a link to it so that was my attempt at a rose look as you can see it didn't quite look how others make it look and then I decided to mix two colors together because I wanted like a, a brighter pink to show up over this base and again I'm just keeping it simple I'm kind of doing lines across kind of making it look a little bit like a tiger print style but I mean you can keep like going over this like I went over the top ones again that hadn't quite got enough color before I cured it so I love the fact that it, you know it doesn't dry until you cure it so you can really have a, a you know good play around and you can see that it like spreads out and gives these funky looking like end results basically and you want to just go ahead and apply a top coat. I'm just applying a normal gel no wipe top coat and curing it underneath my lamp. And I'm going to show you outside because not particularly this one, but when it's over the black, you'll see how stunning it looks. But that was my rose attempt. And this was it where I started off with lines. But how awesome is that colour? It's got that like shimmer and purple look, which looks gorgeous over the black in the sunlight. And then this was the one that I've just showed you, like a zigzaggy look. And then this was like the one that I attempted for it to look like flowers, but this is how it turned out. But it's still quite cool. I still like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so obviously with this, you can just have fun with it and just have a play, really. You never know, you might create something gorgeous. Or you can have fails like I did. I thought I'd show you because... I always try and do that like these were my first attempts when I first started out again that was like a rose thing which failed I've seen ones that have done this where they've dragged it in and it looks a bit funky didn't work for me 
I think maybe that would work better if it was like the clear, like the coloured bloom gel, if that makes sense, not just using the clear. Then I thought I'd be like really creative and do like a rainbow swirly shell and um, well, that was the end result. <laughs> and then I thought I'd just use less colours, maybe that would work. Um, but yeah, it didn't really work. So yeah, so you do have to have a play around with it, but it's fun. You can wipe it off and keep going again. But these are the ones that I deemed worthy enough to show you. So yeah, so if you've not seen this, go and check it out. Um, go and check the product out, have a play with it. The good fun, I'm sure you could create some really cool designs, especially if you've got coloured gels and like bloomed a few different colours maybe. But that is it from me today. Thank you for requesting it, ladies, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.